There are eight ways to upload to your Remarkable and there's actually a bonus nine as well, which yes, you can flick to it or you can wait and see what it is. All right, let's dive into it right now. Eight ways to upload to your Remarkable. Now remember this, it's like tissue paper. Anyone new that's watching, sometimes we try and see how this is not working, see how I'm pressing really hard, but watch this. As light as a feather. All right, so there's two types of files. There's more than two, but there's two major types of files and they're treated very differently on your Remarkable. One is the PDF file and the other is the PNG file. All right, so PNG file and, ah, I keep getting the summary one, <laughs> and the PDF file. So we're gonna look at the PDF files first. They're the most common, they're the easiest to upload to your Remarkable. Um, and there are more ways to do this than the other PNGs. So let's, let's dive in. So PNG files, the way that most people, the reason this is number one is because everybody knows about the desktop app and the mobile app is becoming just as popular as the desktop app. Ease of use um, and all of that jazz, these are probably the two most commonly known ways. And a lot of people may think that's all there is, but there's more. So this was probably the original way. Um, I, I didn't have a remarkable one, but, um, and maybe someone in the comments can let me know if this is true or not, but um, the USB cable, oh, did you see that? It just did a, did a scroll. The USB cable, is another way when you use it in conjunction to upload to your Remarkable. And then there's your Remarkable account. And look, this is super important. So let me just move this up. To give myself a little bit of room. Let's see, we're on black medium. You, you go to my.remarkable.com you do have to create a user profile. You, you should already have one, I'm guessing. Um, I'm trying to remember now, was it automatically created when I bought it or not? Um, okay, it was a while ago. And that requires, as you will know, like everything else on the internet, you to have a login and a password. A user, that's a username. Sorry, let's get this right. User name which is your email address uh, i'm pretty sure that's correct for remarkable that's your e email address but that's okay um i'm just not sure whether you can create a different username you know how sometimes you can that's not important what's important is that you have an account at myremarkable.com because when you get into there you will see the benefits of that all right so um just flicking back the desktop app, the mobile app, the USB cable is very important. The My, your My Remarkable account is very important because this in when you're on in an internet web browser, see here the web browser. I was going to write it up here, but this will do. There is an add file section. As you scroll down, there's an add file section. It's a big square and it's got a plus sign. You can tap on that and you can drag files into that if you don't have your desktop app, if you don't have your mobile app. Um, you obviously don't need a cord to connect because all of the ways we've discussed so far are cordless. They do not require the USB cable, but it is still a way to do things and that's why we've included it here. It is still a way. Then there's these two little beauties over here. Six and seven is... Um, there's at the moment and in a year's time this may be different but at the moment the only browser that works with the remarkable is google chrome and in google chrome you can have get the um read on remarkable plugin and then you can also when you're in microsoft you can also get the microsoft office add-in and it is amazing where you can be online in your web browser you see something that you want to send to your Remarkable and you just click on either one of those depending on where you are 
and it sends it straight to your Remarkable and it's almost instantaneous. Works very, very well. It's, there are two more ways that you can upload to your Remarkable. So let's do a summary. All right, we're at, we're at seven because we're summarizing now the PDFs, all right? This is the big picture of the PDFs. The desktop app, the mobile app, you, you need the USB cable, the Remarkable account, the add files function in your online Remarkable account, then the plug-in read on Remarkable and the add in the Microsoft Office. So, so far we're at seven and that's to deal with PDFs. Now, let's have a look at PNG files because these are, it feels more complex, more complicated. It feels like you need more expertise and more knowledge. So we already have to have the USB cable. So that's number three back uh, earlier in our um, in, in our numbering system. Now, if you have a knowledge of programming and coding, all you need to do is plug, put your plug in here, this USB cable, plug it in here to your desktop computer or laptop, and you can just talk to the, in the back end of your Remarkable here. It, you, you're given the password um, in, in settings up here, and it's, it's pretty straightforward if you know programming and coding. Um, and look, <laughs> for me, I would prefer way number nine, which is a bonus. It doesn't come with a Remarkable. Remarkable do not supply this, but the bonus number nine way is a third party app. And I have got some links below that can get you there. Um, I have, do have an affiliate link for the Mac uh, program which you can just Google it yourself if you don't want to use my link, that's cool. But this is another way that you can upload PNG files, um, templates, which will give you notebooks, templates, and also covers for all your notebooks so that you can customize all of that stuff. You do need the USB cable. Again, that's number three for us. Um, you could try and split hairs and say, oh, three is not a way. Well, it is because if you don't have that cable, you can't use some of these methods. So in summary for the PNGs, this is the summary. You have your PNG file, you need your cable. You can either do these two together or you can do these two together. And you can upload PNG files that way. At this... This is much more straightforward if you don't have any programming or coding um, knowledge. So please like my kit. I know that's it's a very interesting hand, isn't it? <laughs> like, subscribe, ring that little bell. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope that's helped in some way. Awesome.